Hey everyone, Eugene K. Sith here, and today I wanted to share with you a quick guide on the process in which I do high tier battlefields during the campaign. I wouldn't say this method is perfect, but I can say it significantly reduced the burnout I would often get when doing these HDMPs. As with many of the multibox things I post here, use at your own risk because none of this is officially approved by Square Enix. But personally, I feel since it's all mainly getting rid of menu bullshit, it is safe. Okay, first off, let's quickly go over what you'll need first. I will describe each of these in more detail as the video progresses, uh, but the quick rundown of what you'll need to start things off is the HDMP add-on. This is what you'll use to get the entry key item from the NPC. You'll need the uh, command or script, whichever you decide to use, to use the HDMP add-on because you can't use send at all because the add-on will freeze up. Uh, so you'll need something to add a slight delay between each character using it to avoid that lockup. Uh, next up, you'll need Super Warp add-on, obviously to warp you to, uh, to uh, whatever home point you're going to. Um, number four, you can use NPC Narak to skip uh, needing the HTMB add-on because it'll also work. It'll copy the, what your main character bought and then buy it on, on your mules. Um, it also works for portals. The, the problem with NPC Interact is um, it can buy key items that you're not supposed to buy, so you could find yourself in trouble using it. So I would, I would say use at your own risk uh, for NPC Interact. Uh, number five, you'll need the entry script uh, or command, which you can find on my GitHub. And then for the fight itself, uh, the buffing script and commands, which is also on my GitHub. Okay, so once you have the HTMB add-on installed and set up and loaded, uh, you'll have to edit the buy list. And you might have to ed manually edit in the new um, key items, but it's a simple process. You just add them in order with the same name. You just copy the name uh, that the key item is called and then enter in the cost, right? And then right here, it's a nine in my buy list, which is for the savage. I'd like to do the Savage um, HGMB because it has a chance to drop the Warm Blood. Okay, so once you have that, uh, you can use this on a single character and all you have to do is type HGMB and then it'll just buy whatever's on your buy list. And you can have multiple on here. Just do a comma and then, you know, 10. No. And that is how you do that. And then if you're using this multi-box, you will need to also make the script. The script is pretty simple. Uh, this is just a Windows 4 script. Uh, you just have to add a slight delay between each character using the add-on so it doesn't freeze. So as you can see, oh, it might be a little small, but uh, as you can see, just using the add-on, waiting one, sending to the next character, using the add-on, waiting 0.5. You know, you can probably edit the delay to wherever, uh, wherever you want, as long as there's a tiny delay between each character. And you just copy paste this and add in your own characters, uh, however many characters you use. And then for example, you just use it, DXEC, And if you're standing next to NPC, it'll buy the key item on all your characters. Just like that. That easy. Next up, we have using the NPC Interact add-on to get past any of the portals that might be in your way. Essentially how NPC Interact is, it clones or copies whatever you do in a menu um, on your main character that you turn it on on, and then it sends that 
to your mules and they try to replicate it. Um, it doesn't work on everything. It can bug out sometimes. And I'd say the number one thing you have to remember with NPC Interact is to always turn it off. Do not do not keep this add-on on when you're going about your business. Uh, remember to only use it when you want to use it. I will also be making a more extensive guide in the future on the things NPC Interact works on. Okay, now for entering the BC, this part will probably seem more complicated than it actually is. You're going to need two different scripts. You're going to need one called enter.txt, which is right here. And you're going to need another one, which is enter bcnm. I mean, technically you can call them whatever you want, but if you're not sure, just call them these. Um, essentially what you're doing is you're making um, a like a base or a, like a, a root file that's going to send the enter command to all your characters in the first one, right? This will be the one you execute to actually enter. Um, and then the one that it executes will actually be what is inputting the key presses in order to enter with the, with the proper delays, right? Now, this high tier battlefield is very unique in the sense that it takes forever for the portal to load. And I'll show you right now, right here, how long that's why the wait in the middle there had to be 15 seconds because for some reason the uh the portal just takes a million years to load so you have to account for each character is going to need that too also i forgot to turn npc interact which i mentioned before always make sure you turn that off before you do things all right so once we have that up you enter manually on your main character so you shouldn't have to alt tab at all and then once you see your other characters have the BCNM status, you just execute um, the command or the script, I'm sorry. And now we'll start the process of, you know, it'll target NPC, like right here. It'll target NPC, wait one, and it'll, it'll do the key presses to actually enter you or your, your other characters into the battlefield. Now, sometimes uh, one or two characters will get stuck, uh, which is a pain, but usually it's pretty minimal. Usually it gets everyone in. Like right here, it worked on everyone, which is great. And there you go. It's pretty. It's just copy-paste what I put there, and it should work for you too. Although you might have to work on the delays and customize delays based on your connection, probably. And there you have it, the entire HTMB process with little to zero alt tabbing. Uh, like I said, this makes it significantly less stressful as a multiboxer. Uh, I remember back before I used to do it this way, um, I would have to alt tab to each character individually, use the home point, buy the key item, enter the, the BCNM. Uh, needless to say, it was a nightmare. Uh, and doing it like this, you know, you can just chill, you can relax. Uh, it's really not too bad anymore, and I really don't mind farming it with all the menu bullshit out of the way. I really don't feel like this is exploiting the process in it really anyway, because uh, this is how it should be. Like, it should enter all of your characters automatically regardless. I think Skrinx actually announced that they're going to be looking into that in the future, uh, where like the leader enters and then it automatically enters everyone else. I mean, that is how it should be. That's how all, that's like how Ambi works. That's how Odyssey works now. 
but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and you want me to continue with videos like these. Uh, we're actually nearing 2,000 subs, uh, so that'll be a big milestone, and thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.